I hit up a little thrift store in Alexandria, Kentucky a couple, like, I don't know, a couple days ago. Thursday, I think it was. But the one item that I did come up with at that place that was really super cool was a original 1952 Mr. Potato Head. Like the OG of Mr. Potato Heads, okay? It was 17 bucks. I had to buy it. So it's Sunday evening and I listed my Mr. Potato Head today at about 3 o'clock and it sold for $120. And of course, if you're a reseller, you get that shot to the heart. Did I price it too low? I'm going to be packing him up in just a few minutes, but I want to show you guys. Let's go play with Mr. Potato Head. Do you want to? This is what the outer box looks like. I've got a potato from the kitchen and I've got one handed here because I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a tripod. So we're going to just do this and I hope we don't break the little plastic pieces as it's already been paid for. So I'm just going to barely, barely push it on there. Just a second. I'm going to put the face on. is assembled and that is my friend what you would have gotten back in 1950 when you ordered a Mr. Potato Head where you got the Mr. Potato Head for Christmas. Here is this Batman that I sold I think back in December but I haven't brought it to you on YouTube and I wanted to show you guys because it was too cool not to mention it. It sold for $170 and I picked this up in a junk store for, I believe it was $35, sold it in my eBay store for $170. We're about to have some fun. Alright you guys, I'm going to jump right into it. This is the best thing that we have found this weekend and this I can't take credit for this. This was found by my husband and my son. They split off and went to a little auction that was right down the road from our house. And they scored big with all of this Masters of the Universe um, set here in figures. So we actually have the box that it came in, but the box is pretty, pretty gone. Um, I don't know if we'll probably take this to the 127 sale with us, but... I don't believe that that's going to go on eBay just because of the condition that it's in. But I did want to show you just how detailed some of these figures are with their... Um, my son had matched them up to a lot of their weapons and things like that. So a lot of these are complete. A lot of... Uh, some of them are broke. Like this one. It has a broken track on it. Pretty cool stuff. We went to the internet to find out how some of this stuff is assembled, but it looks really, really awesome. And I was told to show the back here, too. As you can see, a lot of, a lot of pieces in there. And coming around to the front, we also, um, in that box... We, uh, we discovered some Star Wars items. So this is a... I don't remember what the name of this ship is. Do you guys? Yeah. What is it? Endor Forest Ranger. Endor Forest Ranger. There we go. And we got a couple little figures here. Now, I was really, really super excited when we found this in the box. But he's still good. Nevertheless, he's still Boba Fett. But he's not the rocket-firing Boba Fett that I had hoped that he might be but we did find a few more star wars figures and what was really exciting were all of these weapons that were down inside one of the boxes at the auction as well it just so happened that we bought a or actually that they bought a box that was separate from all of this stuff so they were lucky to find the star wars um tools and not tools but weapons in there. All right, hold the phone for just a second because something incredible happened while I was sleeping last night. We listed these little things after discovering that they were worth some money. These are the little blasters from the original Star Wars movie. These go into the hands of the stormtroopers. Is that right, guys? Stormtroopers. 
So they're worth $20 each, or at least that's what we've seen some comps selling for. We listed ours for $20 each. Apparently, we could have jacked the price up just a little bit. I'm not sure, but we sold two immediately within probably 20 to 30 minutes after listing them. So after we went to bed, we got a few cha-chings in the middle of the night, and this one guy had bought the remaining 10 of these because there were 12 in total, and we had listed them for $20. We are now, looking were... at a 1985 My Little Pony, you guys. Now, this thing is still in the card that would have gone down into the original box back in 1985. The eBay app came in quite handy on this day at the thrift because I was able to use the camera feature to let me know the name of this particular My Little Pony. Knowing the name of this My Little Pony series was paramount in the sale of this My Little Pony because I was able to pinpoint that it was actually called Perfume Puff Pony. Anytime that you can find specific keywords like this that you can use in your eBay listing, it's going to be very beneficial to you and maybe even increase your sale. With only a few comps being out there, I knew the rarity of this item and I decided to do an eBay auction. I decided to start the auction pretty high at $120. It sat all week at that and then at the very end it hit a surprising ending and it went off at $255 in total sale price. I was so excited. Honey, we just sold something.